We have splice integration in Studio One for the very first time. This, I have to say, is probably my favorite of all the features that have been added to version seven. This is outstanding. Um, not only um, do you have a pretty decent um, amount of um, samples and loops that are available to you, um, for just being basically an owner of Studio One Pro 7. But if you are a member of Studio One Pro Plus as well, you have even more sounds and loops and that kind of thing available to you from, uh, from the Splice integration. But if you are also a subscriber to Splice, you have full access to everything that is available to you in your membership with Splice. Fully integrated, all you need to do is basically sign in with your credentials um, by clicking on the cogwheel here and entering your information and then um, a code will appear and then you just confirm the code and you sign into your Splice account via the web browser. It connects the two together, kind of like it does with the SoundCloud integration and the TuneCore integration where as soon as you have connected the, the uh, Studio One to the um, Splice account, then um, it works automatically. It connects the two together and you have access to whatever you have available in your Splice account. If you don't have a Splice account, you can get one. Um, the pricing is actually really, really reasonable for Splice. Um, if you like, for example, if you just go for just the Sounds Plus uh, subscription, it's less than a tenner a month. It's, it's pretty darn cheap and you get access to pretty much every every sound and every loop that's available and you have credits towards downloads which means you do have a bit of a limitation on the number of downloads you can you can download per month but um other than that it's pretty decent um but of course you don't have to have a splice account if you don't want it there is some that is curated and is available to you for free um just by the fact and the virtue of this um integration it's very very cool um, like I said, I'm only going to uh, scratch the surface. So um, I searched jazz because I'm a jazz guy. And um, I've always wanted a really good horn section sound, horn section sample sounds. Those are the kind of things I'm into. Those are the kind of things that I look for. And I found a, a, a bit of a gem. Um, and I've got these chords that I played on my roads earlier. And what I want to do is I want to see if this will um, actually fit. So what we can do here is we can drag this guy. Oops. I didn't want to do that. I have to go find that again. I think it's this one here. So I can just basically uh, drag this one and put it up here. And as you can see, it now tells you that you've downloaded something. Um, via the transfers. And so I can now play this. So it sounds pretty good already. Let's get rid of this track because we don't need that one. Let's remove that. That was from my bad attempt at dragging something in. Uh, so why don't we change up the instrument? So let's clear brass and woodwind. And let's see if we can find something that's a little bit like drums, maybe. And see if we can find something that will fit this. Um, Okay, let's let's try this. No, nope, definitely not. Uh, 
Yeah, that's kind of interesting, but maybe not. Let's try this one. No, certainly not. No. No, 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 no. Uh... There's some bleed through on that a little bit. Oy, 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 oy. Okay, so um, let's just find something here. And they're all incredibly loud. Yeah, I'll I'll just go with this right now. <laughs> Takes a second to load in. And we're going to pull this down because I know it's going to instantly be becking loud. And I think probably me just going through the browser there was loud. And actually, not bad at all. Um, it took me a, a minute to find what I was after there, but um, I like what we ended up with. And so um, we've got my chords, and actually the the horn section leap there fits those chord changes perfectly. And uh, and the drums actually sound all right. It's not it's not a perfect fit, but it's not bad. But there you go. 